connection tonight between the master bomb maker here in Brussels to Paris. The big question that remains, how many people are in that terror cell and how many are still alive tonight, perhaps planning the next attack? Here's our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, now. It's increasingly clear tonight to U.S. authorities that the deadly terror attack this week in Brussels and last November in Paris were the work of one interconnected ISIS cell based in Belgium, made up of at least 16 terror recruits, mostly European, 13 of them now dead, one under arrest, and two still being sought. It's got more moving parts. It's got people attacking in different ways. Uh, it's a more resilient kind of terror cell, I think. The culmination of more than a year of careful planning by ISIS Central Command in Syria that allowed the cell to avoid detection for so long. They do train their people in the fundamentals uh, of being a spy, of being a terrorist cell, fundamentals of secure communication. Among those with documented ties to both Paris and Brussels is that suspected bomb maker, 24-year-old Najim Lashraoui, whose remains were discovered today in the rubble of the Brussels airport. Authorities say they have found his DNA and fingerprints at bomb factories that produced explosives for both Paris and Brussels. And David, officials tell us that even with those two men on the loose, they believe the Brussels terror cell has already carried out its mission, now out of people and out of bombs. The concern now is that there are other terror cells across Europe still covert and still actively plotting, David. Brian, thank you.